welcome to the history of the Dyson Sphere. A Dyson Sphere was a colossal sphere constructed around a star completely surrounding it. The interior of the sphere would absorb the entire energy output of that star, allowing for life forms to live on the interior surface almost indefinitely. Such a structure was theorized by 20th century physicist Freeman Dyson. One of these spheres encased a G-type star and had a diameter of 200 million kilometers, nearly the size of the orbit of Earth around Sol, giving it an internal surface area of approximately 250 million M-class planets. The exterior shell was comprised of carbon neutronium, and the interior was much like a habitable planet with various types of terrain and atmosphere. The large sphere was equipped with portals the diameter of several large starships, which opened to allow ships to enter the interior, where there was enough room to orbit the star. Ships were guided through using tractor beam emitters triggered by subspace signals. As no radiant sunlight or solar wind escaped the sphere, starships were not able to detect it until they were almost on top of it. As a result, the USS Jalolin crashed into it in 2294, after being pulled in by the sphere's immense gravity well, while investigating it en route to the Norpin colony. In 2369, the USS Enterprise D discovered the Jalolin and investigated the sphere. The sphere was deserted because the star around which it was constructed was highly unstable. Background Information the Dyson Sphere, named after scientist Freeman Dyson, who envisioned a real-world postulate in 1959, although the actual sphere that Dyson theorized was not a solid object like the one visualized in the episodes. Dyson himself, who himself never took the idea too seriously, said in a later interview that while the science behind it was nonsense, as a TV viewer, he enjoyed the episode. More specifically, he called the theory a joke, about relics, Dyson said, actually it was sort of fun to watch. It's all nonsense, but it's a quite good piece of cinema. In the same interview, he said that Stapledon Spear would be a more appropriate name in honor of Olaf Stapledon, whose depiction of such an object in his 1937 novel, Star Maker, inspired a young Dyson to look into the theory. The concept of the Dyson Sphere as a B-story premise had actually already been circulating among the writing staff for years, but until the episode Relics, the opportunity have never arisen to utilize the notion. It was something that we were trying to put in for a long time and it became a standing joke, noted episode writer Ronald D. Moore. Once Relics came up, the opportunity finally afforded itself, and the episode science consultant went to work to beef out the concept. For the Star Trek episode, both the exterior and interior were built at Gregory Gen Inc., while the interior full-size exterior view and interior long views were executed matte paintings. Apocrypha in book number five of the Double Helix series, Double or Nothing, Captain Calhoun and Picard encounter a Dyson Sphere constructed by an Anti-Federation Alliance. Calhoun and Picard eventually succeed in thwarting the Alliance and destroying the Sphere. The Sphere seen in Relics is revisited in the novel Dyson Sphere. A planned six-month exploration is cut short when a neutron star is launched at the Sphere by parties unknown. In the Deep Space Nine Millennium book series, Chief O'Brien is briefly trapped in a paw wraith hell where he is forced to wander the interior of a Dyson Sphere for several millennia. Unable to understand how the sphere was constructed or learn anything about its creation. In the Starless World, Kirk and crew encounter a Dyson Sphere that surround and is controlled by a godlike entity. The sphere has been traveling towards the galactic core for several billion years at sublight speeds and intends to enter a black hole as part of an ancient compact. In the eighth season of Star Trek Online, players battle the Voth for control of a Dyson Sphere in the Delta Quadrant, which formerly belonged to the Solene-based life forms. 
Seen in the TNG episode Schisms, the player also learns that the Dyson Sphere, encountered by the Enterprise D in Relics, has disappeared without a trace. Thank you for watching the history of the Dyson Sphere. Special thanks to Memory Alpha for all information. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you can. If you already have, then thank you, and have a great day. Bye-bye!